Experts say the worker was driving on the right side when a driver in an SUV slammed into his work van. It was breaking on the morning news as 5 a.m. As eastbound lanes of State Road 528, not far from State Road 417, were shut down in Orange County. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us now live from FHP's headquarters in Orlando. And Jerry, you spoke with troopers about this investigation, as well as a family friend of the driver who died. Yes, and Christopher Canella's family, they're asking for privacy today, but a family friend did tell me that it's really sad, it's a shame that um, Canella had to die so soon. This all happening as traffic officials for years, like FHP, has been working uh, to reduce runway crashes. This nasty crash happened around 1 this morning on the 528, not far from the 417. Troopers say Jason Torrance was driving this now mangled SUV the wrong way on the 528 when he crashed right into 31-year-old Christopher Canella, who was driving this AAA van. Canella was killed. Daniel Gomez broke down today talking about the crash. He knows Canella's family. Sad. Very sad. Troopers say right now they're still working to see why Torrance was driving the wrong way and told us charges are pending. It did appear that he was uh, impaired, um, but because of his injuries, <clears throat> we'll wait for those uh, blood alcohol tests to come back. To avoid wrong way crashes, over the past three years, the Central Florida Expressway Authority have put up more of these what's called wrong way systems with lights, cameras and signs, notifying traffic officials immediately when someone drives the wrong way on one of more than 30 ramps on Central Florida Expressways. Troopers say they were not notified this morning, which makes this case more puzzling. We don't know if this is a situation that a, a driver made a U-turn uh, in the middle of the um, State Road 528. Um, so we're, again, we're still trying to evaluate what happened. It's very sad that happened because uh, when you leave your house, you're supposed to come back home. Yeah, very sad story. Canella, only 31 years old. As you mentioned, he was a part time. He was a contractor for AAA, but he worked full time at Elite Towing. You can read AAA statement on our website at clickorlando.com. Meantime, I've just got my hands on new stats uh, showing wrong way crashes and how it appears that traffic officials here in Central Florida are getting results working to reduce wrong way crashes. I'm working that part of the story for News 6 at 6 o'clock. We're live in Orlando, Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin getting results. News 6. Jerry, thank you.